Hi, I'm Mike Brown. I'm the Executive Director of the National Association of State Conservation Agencies. You probably know us better as NASCA. You know, we try to serve our members across the country in a couple of broad categories. The first is we try to enhance their capacity to get the job done at home. We also serve as a unified voice for state conservation agencies across the country as conservation policy is being developed in, in our nation's capital. I could go on at length telling you about the services NASCA provides, but I'd rather you hear it from our members. So here's, here's the deal. We have a very unique job working directly with conservation districts. And so where else in the world can you come together with people from all over the country that have this one job, which is working directly with conservation districts and helping them succeed? We're all out there in our regions, for example, working with conservation districts, and it feels like pretty alone. You don't know that there's these other people out there that can give you ideas to help you do your job better. That's what's important about this. Time for a field staff person to get away from the daily work that they do, but realize that they're not in an, on an island. Um, there are others in other states that are experiencing the same things that they experience every day. And it, it rejuvenates you. I had questions that I didn't have to spend 10 or 15 minutes explaining where I was coming from. They knew immediately uh, you know, where I was coming from and, and understood the situation and was able to provide uh, very timely, uh, appropriate uh, feedback and suggestions and advice. I had only been on the job for a month, so I still had the deer in the headlight look. Was able to attend Ray Ledgerwood's very first field staff sharing session and it got me on my way and my job really quickly. I was thrilled by being able to become familiar with and, and make friends with people from all over the country that were doing my job, essentially. And it's difficult for a lot of people to understand the work we do, but all of a sudden I'm with people that are um, all doing this in some fashion, working with conservation districts and working with helping people deliver voluntary incentive-based conservation. We've got people we can call. We're not just in our single state by ourselves. I can call them and say, hey, I'm doing good here, here, and here, but I'm stumping my toe here. And they'll say, they'll laugh and say, hey, you did the same thing I did. Here's how we work through that. They'll politely tell me what I'm doing wrong, and I'll know that they're speaking from experience, they're speaking from confidence, and they'll get me off dead center and let me move on toward my goals. Just pay attention and engage and gain friends because you're going to have these friends for a long time. How would you describe the relationships that you formed? They're, they're lifelong. Um, folks that work in conservation, uh, that are truly dedicated to their career and profession in conservation, they stay where they're at. And so year after year, we get to meet and renew old friendships and make new friendships. I think that, uh, you know, it's, I mentioned it's, they're a tremendous resource, but it's so much more than that. It's, it's the ability to, to develop relationships with people that um, can provide, hopefully, a, a lifetime friendship and a resource for me uh, in our state agency to do what we do and help conservation districts do what they do. If you want a career in conservation and you want to be happy and successful in it, please listen to the people from NASCA.